Hi, we are FTC Team 9769 Total Chaos, located here in Portland, Oregon. In this video, we will be using Blocks Programming to make a program using the touch sensor. What exactly is a touch sensor? The touch sensor is a simple off-on switch used to detect if the robot is coming in contact with something. For this video, we will use it as a button that can be pressed by a human to give instructions to the robot. So let's get started. First, let's create an op mode. We can name this op mode touch sensor since we will be dealing with the touch sensor. Our main objective for this program is to have the robot move forward and once the touch sensor has been pressed, move backwards and then turn in either direction and then allow the robot to move forward in that certain direction, so either left or right. So as you guys can see, we're given the basic layout for blocks programming right here. Since this is an autonomous program, we can delete the green loop right here as this is dealt with in teleop. We should also change this from teleop to autonomous. Now, first of all, if you take a look at the robot, the motors are on opposite ends, one's on the left and the other's on the right. So for the robot to move forward, we must reverse one of the motors. So to do this, let's go to actuators, select DC motor, and move the set right motor direction to reverse and place it in the initialization area. By default, the left motor's direction will already be set to moving forward. Now we are ready to move on to the run blocks area. The first part of our objective is to move forward. So to do that, let's go to dual and the let's move the set power block right under the run blocks comment right here. The power of the right and left motor are both one. This shows that this shows us the speed at which the robot will move, but we do not know how long the robot will move for. So to do that, let's go to linear op mode, select the sleep block and place it underneath. This shows us the robot will move for 1000 milliseconds or one second. Now we have made the robot now we have made the robot move forward and we are ready to move on to the touch sensor. To program the touch sensor, we should go to logic and select the if do block to allow us to make a statement of what will happen once the touch sensor has been pressed. So if we go to sensors, select touch sensor, place the touch sensor in the if area. And now we can write the code for what would happen after the touch sensor has been pressed. So since we are transitioning from moving forward to moving back, and we already have a sleep block right before the if do block, we want another sleep block at the very start of this if do block to show that the transition from going forward to back actually works. So we can keep this at the same default value of 1000 milliseconds or one second. Now to move forward, is the same as moving backwards, except we have to change the power from positive one to negative one. So let's go to dual, select set power block, and place that right underneath. Change the values from positive one to negative one. And now we have set the power from moving backwards to negative. But how long should we move for? That we need the sleep block for. Now that we've placed the sleep block, we know that we're moving back for 1000 milliseconds. So now our code allows us to move forward for 1000 milliseconds and move back once the touch sensor has been pressed. So to move to the second half of our objective, to turn and move in the direction, we have to select another set power block and place it underneath. Now, to turn to either direction, we have to have one of the motors positive and the other motor negative. So for this example, we'll change the right motor to a negative value. And we need the sleep block again to tell the code for how long we want the robot to turn. And we'll keep it at the default value of 1000 milliseconds. Now that the robot has turned in either in a certain direction, we want the robot to actually move in that direction, which is basically allowing the robot to move forward. So we've already used this block many times before. So let's continue by using the set power block and keeping it at one. The right motor's power is a one, and the left motor's power is one. And we'll allow the robot to move forward in that direction for 1000 milliseconds. As of now, we have written the whole code that we wanted from our objective. We are allowing the robot to move forward once the touch sensor has been pressed, move back, turn in either direction as we have put one of the values positive and one of the values negative, and then move forward in that direction. Now that the code is almost done, we want the robot to come to a complete halt. For this to happen, let's go to dual, select the second block right here, set power, and keep the right motor and left motor both at a value of zero. Now that now the coding for this objective 
is complete. Let's go test it out on the field. So as you will be able to see, this is what happens when the touch sensor is not pressed. It just went forward and stopped. This is what happens when the touch sensor is pressed. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped with programming your robot.